Hello, my name is Jesse Rowe. I am a part of Team 8. We will be presenting General Electric. Our other team members are Monica Khan, Coop the Loop Open Redder, Alex Platypus Platt, me, Jesse Rome, Amanda Sassa, Margaret Schultz, and Ariana Tober. Let the presentation begin. Well, hello. Today, our presentation, we will be having a company overview, an external analysis, then an internal analysis, followed with some strategic recommendations. Let's get started with the summary. General Electric, or GE, is an organization that is unique to any other organization due to the vast impact and market share. It has in a multitude of diverse industries. The five core segments through which GE operates includes energy, technology infrastructure, capital finance, and consumer and industrial solutions. Five. Within these core segments, GE operates under various subdivisions that focus on specific industries, commercial financing, aviation, <coughs> home, business appliances, healthcare, and oil and gas, just to name a few. These components coupled with determination allow GE to define and accomplish their mission. GE aims to build, cure, move, and power the world. General Electric was formed in 1892 after a merger of two companies, Edison General Electric Company of Schenectady, the first of the two companies, was started by Thomas Edison, the great man himself. Since 1892, General Electric has made additional acquisitions and has purchased stakes in a number of other companies. One of the most famous acquisitions was actually the purchase of NBC in 2004. GE merged with NBC and Vivendi's Universal Entertainment to form NBC Universal. The contract resulted in GE having an 80% ownership until 2011 when Comcast obtained a 51% share, leaving GE with 49%. Jeffrey Immel is currently GE's chair, CEO and chairman and has held this position since September 2001. Immel is a businessman who truly understands GE's strategic fit and effectively implements its corporate strategy. Ooh. One minute. On GE's company website, Imelda is quoted about the strategic fit of the company. He also has been named one of the world's best CEOs three times by Barron's. By Barron's. Um, <laughs> Recently, his performance has been scrutinized for a number of reasons. Beginning in 2008, the company stock has dropped 60%. 21 plants have closed, and around 19,000 employees have been laid off. However, in 2012, Fortune magazine ranked GE the sixth largest firm in the annual list of 500 largest companies in the United States, as well as ranking it the 14th, 14th most profitable. Profitable. Sorry about that. In addition to Mr. Imelt, there are 191 senior executives who serve as growth leaders at the head of the numerous GE sectors of 2001. The past year, GE has seen a constant stock pricing at about $25, indicating both stability and the possibility for growth. Now I will move on to our eternal, external analysis. <laughs> and now for our team's Brilliant and well thought out external analysis. When analyzing the external environment surrounding General Electric, it is important to analyze both the driving forces in play, both at the level of the individual business segments through which GE operates, as well as a holistic corporate view. Each segment must be aware of the external drivers when operating in that specific marketplace, particularly Porter's five forces. Those five forces are the customers, the suppliers, the rivals, the substitutes, and the threat of any new entrants. Relative to each segment, there are certain forces that can create significant leverage for the film, as well as pose serious problems if not accounted for. GE Capital is able to avoid any supplier issues in that they are upstream in the consumer lending industry, but in turn, consumers have a lot of power over them due to the amount of suppliers to choose from providing gen generic, undifferentiated products. The home and business segments 
enjoy minimal fear of new entrants since the current major players hold about 83, 83.3 actually percent to be specific of the market. And coincidentally, due to the necessity of the products in this segment, substitutes of equivalent quality convenience are far and few between. Currently, GE's power and water solutions are a key revenue source. With the threat of substitute alternative energy forms, the firms must continue to advance the technology available. Due to the lack of a real rival, Hubble is a far second in the industry. GE's in the driving seat. Wow, I'm getting a little tired. Monica, could you please go over the internal analysis for all of them? Absolutely. And now for our internal analysis. When analyzing the internal environment surrounding General Electric, each segment was analyzed using various internal analysis models discussed in lecture as well as various readings in class. Through the generic strategy of differentiation, it is seen that GE Capital differentiates themselves through their level of service, brand, and organizational structure. Unlike their competitors who are very general in nature in their business strategy, GE Capital business strategy caters to each of their clients as they have a customer service orientation, causing causal ambu ambiguity for firms attempting to copy the service. They invest heavily in human capital, and they leverage the name of its parent company and its marketing and sales components as GE's brand, which is an intangible asset, giving it a strong, unique advantage over its competitors. Lastly, GE Capital is organized into regions and further broken down into the types of financing that is done, which helps improve efficiency and effectiveness. This structure has allowed for the greatest optim optimization of output at the firm, and many look to emulate this structure. The causal ambiguity mentioned above is also a key factor in creating a competitive advantage for the GE Healthcare division. Even though competitors such as Siemens AG have tried imitating GE Healthcare through direct duplication of their anesthesia, mach anesthesia machinery, they are unable to find how, match, how much it fits their system, which gives GE Healthcare a sustainable competitive advantage. A SWOT analysis of GE Home and Business Solutions shows the firm has set themselves apart from competitors with strengths in energy efficiency and sustainability through research, as well as external consistency to fit with its market expectations. <laughs> the ability to obtain materials at a lower cost than its competitors allows the company to either lower the price of its goods or services, giving it a price advantage or increase in its prof profitability by maintaining higher margins. This advantage is also seen in the GE Aviation Division, which benefits from economies of scale, as well as a number of other advantages. The innovations that come out of its R&D department, such as the technology behind the GE90 turbofan engine, are used to create industry-leaving products and are key in creating a competitive advantage for the Aviation Division. Although GE Aviation differenti differentiates itself from the competition with its innovative technologies and industry-leading products, it has room to diversify its product line, into cap line to capture a larger portion of the market and further improve its position in the industry. Thank you guys for listening to the internal analysis. Wow! Thanks, Mon, for telling everybody the internal analysis. Now it's time for the recommendations, though. Sorry, you gotta go. No! Ouch. And now it's time for our strategic recommendations. General Electric is already an extremely diversified firm, as illustrated by their various divisions, but one area the firm could seize an opportunity to widen their scope is in transportation, particularly with trains and the movement, movement towards magnetic bullet trains such as the one proposed by innovator Elon Musk. To that same effect, we actually recommend that General Electric acquire the Tesla company founded by Mr. Musk as the startup is making great strides in electronic transportation and has core competencies that would be very beneficial to General Electric. It is paramount that the firm continue their efforts to remain environmentally friendly in all the business segments as well as maintain the customer service orientation that has been so dang successful in the past. We recommend that GE Home Appliances looks to form a strategic alliance, <laughs> alliance with Michigan-based competitor 
Whirlpool. Being fifth and second in the market respectively, neither firm has more than a 5% market share and could engage in it. Equity Alliance! <laughs> and create a mutually beneficial relationship, such as we have learned about with the case of Carlos Ghosn and Rinal, or Rinal, or whatever country, you know. Before making this merger, top management would have to access the fit of the cultures at both corporations to avoid internal, internal conflict within the alliance. The most logical divestment would be selling the selling of their mildly profitable gas range businesses in home and appliances, which was a strategic maneuver explored by GE in 2008. Now to continue the successful precedent GE has created with that. The segment that has the most room to diversify is the aviation segment. Since they only produce plane engines, it may be a good idea to either create other plane parts or create entire planes by vertically integrating with an airplane producer such as Airbus or Boeing, which are already current partners and create serious revenue. However, before making the decision to diversify in this segment, leadership will have to choose whether this decision fits their mission to avoid falling into the as we saw happen to JetBlue when they took on too much. All these recommendations that we're suggesting would aim to raise their stock price, which can also be viewed right behind me. At GE, we put our ideas to work. We make things that matter, things that make life better. Engineers, scientists, builders, leaders, all doers and problem solvers all sharing a belief in a better way. It's why we come to work every day. The tough challenges, the tough asks, the impossible reach. We are on it, already asking, what's next? We put our ideas to work, making the world work better. GE works, moving, powering, building, curing the world, financing businesses, and helping consumers build their financial futures delivering earnings growth and increased shareholder value. We are investing in superior technology, developing advanced manufacturing skills, applying intelligent software to make things work better, establishing our leadership in growth markets with the financial resources to manage risk and invest from a position of strength and a commitment to deliver the innovation the world needs. We don't just imagine a cleaner, more productive world, we power it. We don't just dream of a world that travels quicker, safer, and more efficiently. We move it. We don't just see a world where too many people lack access to the healthcare they need. We cure it at GE. We put our ideas to work. Not just imagining, doing. GE works. All of us from Team 8 wanted to say thank you for listening to our presentation on General Electric. It was truly a pleasure. Now I gotta go watch the fuck goes. Go team! Okay. I think I just came. <laughs> Always be, and we're going in. Let me tell you, tell me, let me come and let me in. I'm here to ride it out, so baby, get them in. I'll be your remedy, show me your medicine. Yeah. That's right, your doctor. Uh, Can't have a little.